Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be creating an abstract text animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. To get started, we will use a blank fusion composition and let's go to the fusion page. I'm going to start off by creating our text. So let's just drag in a text tool and just simply type in your text. Now for the font, I'm going to be using a font called Monument Extended and then set the font weight to black. Now we'll just go to the image and change the height. So I'm going to disable or uncheck auto resolution and just scale that down. And in the text, I can just go to the layout and uh, scale it up using the slider over here, or I can just increase the size like so. Make sure it fits. And uh, let's just go back to the image tab over here and increase the size a little bit. All right, so that is looking great. Now, the next thing we'll do is add in a background to this text. This will result in merge one. Take a look at it. This is how it's going to look. So if you hit control T while the merge one is selected, this will bring the text in the front and the background will be in the background. On this background, we'll click on it and set the alpha all the way down to zero. We will go to the merge and we will change the um, edges. We'll set this to wrap. All right. So this will basically create this repeated uh, pattern of text. And you can even reduce the size if you think that if it if you think that it's too close, uh, you can reduce the size over here. Uh, but for example, you can see the text is getting cropped up right over here, so we can fix this um, in the text itself. So if I just increase the height a little bit, or you know change the height a little bit, you can see we are able to fix it, and then we have to um, change the center position as well. Uh, to get this text back. So I think that looks pretty okay. And uh, I'm going to just move ahead. We'll try and finish this um, tutorial quickly. We want to displace this text. And for that, we will use a displace uh, node. So if you search for the displace, this is a simple 2D displacement, uh, but we are going to be using a 3D displacement. All right, so let's just delete this. We can use a 3D displacement if you search for displace again. And there is this option. Or displace 3d click on add but if you connect it to this if you will this displace 3d nothing will really show up because our image right here it's in 2d environment we want to convert it into 3d all right so now we need to create some displacement in our uh, text over here so what we're going to do is create a new background let's view this and on this we will just create a simple ellipse make sure solid is unticked and then increase the border width and let's also make the color white. Click on OK. And now we want to animate this thing. So let's go to the ellipse over here, go to the very first frame, and we will create a keyframe on width and the height. So let's uh, right click, click on expression, and we will uh, link the width to the height property. Now we can use the height property to control both sliders at once. So let's go to the very first frame, which is frame zero, uh, create a keyframe. On height set it to zero at that frame and we will go to let's go to frame 30 and increase the height right outside the canvas over here on the animation will look something like this now you can go to the spline and um, make sure the ellipse is selected you'll see the keyframes over here click on zoom to fit and uh, click on select all uh, you can smooth out the graph if you want to do that you can click on this very first icon and it will just uh, smooth that out if you want to create a different kind of graph, uh, you can right click and then from this window, there is this ease option and you have different easing options over here. So if I uh, click on back in cubic, you will have an animation that will look uh, much different. Right. So let me just undo that. And um, I'm going to again, right click on it. And there is an option for dialogue as well. This will open up a dialog box where you can like uh, see it in real time how the graph will look and you can play around uh, with the points over here as well and change the in and the out values. I'm going to just simply select this and hit S on the keyboard and make it smooth. And then I'm going to click on this option that says set loop and it will basically loop this animation like that. All right. That is looking good. Let's use this animation as our displacement map. So first of all, for the 3D displacement, we want to convert this uh, merge one, which is in a 2D 
environment we will just convert it into 3d by using image plane 3d if you take a look at it this is now in 3d all right um, so now for this image plane 3d we will use a uh, displays 3d click on add and we will connect this um, graphic that we just created and we'll connect it to the displays 3d so if you take a look at it you can see that uh, it is displacing our text like that and that is exactly what we want now let's go to displays 3d and we can play around with the scale amount and now you'll have that uh, similar displacement over here i'm just going to go to the image plane 3d and increase the subdivision set this to 40 so that we have a smoother looking animation and then in the ellipse we will change the or increase the soft edge so that it is a little bit more smoother all right so if we take a look at this um we have to after the displays 3d add in a renderer 3d to view this so you can see uh, now it's back in the 2d environment you can see that we have this um, wavy looking uh, animation right this is exactly what we want so now what we can do is let's just delete this render 3d for now all right so after the displays 3d we will add in a merge to this or you can just search for camera and uh, this will automatically add in a merge as well so if you um, take a look at this merge 3d and after this merge 3d we will add in a renderer 3d take a look at renderer 3d this will be empty and uh, we just have to go to the camera 3d over here go to transform and just change the z position like that use this option use target or you can go to the image plane 3d over here go to transform and change the rotation over here so let's just uh, change that and uh, there you have it i'm just going to enable or disable check underlay so that we can see it properly right you can see that we have this really cool 3d displacement right now if you go back to the displace 3d over here you can pretty much change the um, the height of this uh, using this node over here using this uh, slider over here the scale slider um, let's just keep it around uh, 0.13 ish All right so this is what we have in the renderer 3d we will click on lighting and shadows and we will add in a spotlight to this let's connect it to the merge 3d and in the spotlight we will go to transform and change the setting like so and then you can go to controls and you can change the color of the light as well and i'm going to change the uh, decay type to either of these two options linear or quadratic you can turn down the intensity as well and uh, increase the cone angle and the pin number value as well and you have to just make sure that this is in a uh, in the right spot so now as you can see we have the shadows over here as well this looks pretty cool maybe i can zoom in and yeah this part over here overall it looks pretty cool you can even help the playback a little bit by setting this to half quality and your playback will be a little bit faster so you can go ahead and um, uh, create any animation you can go to image plane 3d and uh, create an animation on y or x or any axes that you want you can even animate the camera um, position you can use the target over here and you know create an animation in any fashion by the way you can go to the ellipse as well you can like pretty much uh, change the entire look of the scene by uh, changing the border width if i lower the lower down the border width i can control the height of the displacement i can uh, change the soft edge and you know make it look more sharp or more smooth i think you should get a better angle at this so let me just change some values over here and that is much better angle if you want to have more ripples you can after this background add in a duplicate click on add and you can increase the number of copies to let's say four and this will basically if you take a look at this is duplicate uh, you will add more ripples but right now you cannot see them that is because we need to change the time offset as well so let's change that and yeah there you go you have more ripples and let's take a look at the render 3d you will see that this will actually um, affect our animation over here all right so you can like, like spend some more time to fine tuning this duplicate node but yeah that is the um, gist of it that's how you can create uh, this animation you can finally connect it up with the media out and the animation will be ready over here 
Cool, so thank you so much for watching the video. If this was helpful, do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.